Whoa! Hi, YouTube. So, what we have here today is a Hotson Model 95. This has Quattro Trigger. Uh, the Shock Absorber System. It's a 25 caliber air rifle that's made in Turkey. The wood stock is quite nice. Nice checkering. A rubber butt stock. Has a safety on the back of the receiver. Has dovetails and the recoil on this thing is so severe that um, the scope mount that was on here was actually sliding. The sights are kind of cheap. I'm not really fond of the fiber optic sights they've been putting on air guns lately. And these are plastic. It's got elevation and windage adjustment. It's got kind of a Ah, to me, it's kind of a garbage fiber optic front sight. This plastic extension on the barrel. Rifled steel barrel. The Quattro trigger, this one actually has longer screws. I'm going to attempt to get the trigger so it would work better. A cleaner break. As I recall, this gun's a, quite a bear to cock. And it recoils. And the worst thing about it is it's very inaccurate. This one is a 2016 model. And I've read all kinds of reviews and guys trying different pellets. I've never found this gun to be accurate. We're going to try it out with some Beam and Chrome Magnum 25 caliber pellets. We'll see if we can take out the Miller Lite can. All right, let's see how, how bad this thing is to cock. So I had to smack the end of the barrel to get it to release. Ah, oh, it's not terrible. It's got kind of a funky cocking rod. Let's insert one of these giant 25 caliber pellets, hollow point. And if you don't shoot 25 caliber pellets, they, uh, as I recall, they're quite a bit more spendy than your traditional twenty, or your quite a bit more spendy than the other calibers, being twenty-two and one seventy-seven. So you've got to press the safety forward in order to make it shoot. Let's see if I can hit this can. Wow, the trigger is like I barely touched the trigger, so it's very sensitive. All right. Oh, you can smell the. It's still so new, it's got that, you guys know what I mean, it's got that smell of when it went off, and like the, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but that, uh, that comes out of the uh, spring chamber. It's a chunky air gun. Okay, let's see if I can hit this can. Like I say, I've found this to be the most inaccurate freaking pellet gun. I don't know if I hit it or not. I kind of think I might have hit it. One would think though, with a 25 caliber pellet, it would knock that can down. Let's try one more. I aimed at the red emblem on it. Let me aim higher. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go fill a can full of water so I can tell if I'm hitting it or not. Okay, so what I've got is a can full of water on the left. That'll be our target. We're going to try again. And just for the purists out there that think, no, the Hotson 95 is super, it's amazing, best gun ever. I'm such an air gun nerd, I have my beam and pell seat. What you would do with this, you would use it to push the pellet, seat the pellet. Let's see if I can manage to hit anything. Oh, <laughs> I'm impressed. Wow, that's really good. I'm gonna go get that can and see what the damage is. Yeah, it's not bad. Look at that. It blew it out. 
pretty good knockdown power with those 25 caliber pellets if you're able to actually hit anything with it. So yeah, overall, I, I mean, it, it's a nicely it's a nicely made air rifle, but uh, it's heavy and I don't think it's particularly accurate. I, it's probably it's it's difficult to shoot. Um, I just don't care for it all that much. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.